Thank you, Chair, High Commissioner. Greece fully aligns with the EU statement and we will make some remarks in the national capacity. Excellencies, distinguished delegates, we need to do more to resolve global inequalities as well as lack of democracy and respect for human rights in many parts of the world. Europe can do more to relocate people in need and Greece will participate in such efforts. We have done so this year in the case of Ukraine, we've done so last year in the case of Afghanistan, providing almost 1,000 humanitarian visas to female dignitaries and their families. We need to do more to provide opportunities for people to prosper and everyone is entitled to want a better future, providing more visas to people to come and work in Europe, but with rules. Having said that, the Geneva Convention was not an encompassing tool to resolve all global injustices. We see today smugglers taking advantage of people, making fortune transferring migrants undertaking extreme risk, as we see fatalities, especially at sea. Transferring migrants between countries, safe countries, signatories of the Geneva Convention, countries members of the Council of Europe. It is critical to preserve the integrity of the asylum system, providing asylum to those in need, but actively discouraging asylum shopping. We need to provide shelter to those entitled to international protection in a coordinated way. As the EU did in the case of Ukraine, activating the temporary protection mechanism and granting the right of free movement within the European Union. Greece has already welcomed 75,000 people from Ukraine. Some may argue that the European asylum model is broken. Most arrivals today do not originate directly from countries at risk. Smuggling networks today get to decide who enters Europe, resulting to asylum backlogs, lack of reception capacity affecting many countries. And free movement of recognized refugees within Europe is still restricted. Returns of those not entitled to international protection is difficult, and that affects public opinion on migration. This model has to be broken by providing legal pathways, explore screening mechanisms before arrival to Europe, and providing within the European Union a mandatory relocation mechanism to all countries, so as to avoid the first reception countries facing an even unfair pressure. And Greece is committed in protecting our border in line with international law, especially in cases of instrumentalization of migration, when human suffering yields to geopolitical strategies. It's present to the face of migrant smuggling when human suffering yields to financial gain. We need to get the EU-Turkey 2016 joint statement back on track, and we welcome UNHCR efforts to increase prevention of unlawful departure, stepping up efforts to combat smuggling networks and working efficiently with governments. Dear delegates, Greece over the last eight years has welcomed over one million refugees. This year we anticipate 35,000 asylum applications. Since 2019, we have drastically improved our asylum reception facilities and the protection of unaccompanied minors. We now host 18,000 asylum seekers in new reception centers, fully compliant with very strict European Union standards. We are, have reducing an asylum backlog from 200,000 applications to 30,000 today. We have placed particular emphasis to the protection of unaccompanied minors. This is a strategic priority for us, and we have worked successfully with our EU partners on relocation. We invest actively on the integration programs, offering full access to health, education, and employment to all uh, recognized refugees. We are doing our part. But as migration constitutes a key challenge during these turbulent times, we need to devise collective, efficient management system, serve best practices, create a common European protection space, but most importantly, stand together on this issue in line with our common values. Thank you, Mr. Chair.